The special session is still underway at the state capitol. Local 5 has been there all day, staying up to date with the latest information. Dana Searles is joining us now. Dana, you've been there since this morning, so can you describe what the environment has been like and if this bill passes tonight, what those next steps might look like? Mary, yeah, it's been a very active environment here at the state capitol all day. I got here around 730 this morning, and that was an hour before that they were expected to gavel in, and there were already people setting up advocates, protests. They were setting up, and by the time I came out of the House Republicans or the House lawmakers gaveling in, I came out, and it was absolutely packed. The rotunda was filled with people. Now, it was most active, like I said earlier, when those subcommittees were meeting, and when they were meeting, that was when those public hearings were being held. So people were crowded outside those doors. Some were even chanting, vote them out, vote them out. And people were being let in to voice their opinions into those public meetings. So now that was the most active time of the day. It has gone down now. But when I was talking to different advocates and protesters, they're saying it's just an overall emotional day for both sides. Some are frustrated that we're back here after 2018, seeing a similar bill. And the others are just frustrated after the recent Supreme Court decision that we are back here. And Dana, what, if anything, are you hearing for potential next steps? If this bill does pass tonight, maybe what we could see in the coming days? Definitely. I'm hearing from various legal experts that they do expect for appeals to be made, which would then bring this back to the courts just like what we saw similar to a few weeks ago. So we can fully expect people to have appeals made and um, really up test this bill. Nothing is confirmed, but from what I'm hearing from people, they are ready to fight this. Now the debates are gonna be going on. I'm hearing from the House until 10 p.m. tonight, and then from the Senate, they'll be going until 11 p.m. tonight before those votes are made. And both sides have said they are gonna be debating that bill up until that very last minute. All right, Dana Searles, keeping the tabs on a lot there for us tonight. We appreciate it.